Yo, what is up? It's Zare. I'm going to be doing a different little video today. This is just going to be a matchup tier list. I'm a multi-year challenger Gwyn player. Um, so yeah, I also have a spreadsheet. So this is going to go over a lot of the matchups, just how you should play them early game if you scale, and just small little tips and tricks. So when it's applicable, I'll use that as a resource. So my first matchup is going to be Aatrox. Um... Remember that this is kind of skewed high-low because I am a high-level player myself. So this is the assumption that you understand how to play it. Um, but if you use the spreadsheet, it should be very easy. So I think this is Gwen favored, 100%. Um, Aatrox has a really tie, hard time EQing into you um, just because you have the ability to E into him and dodge the sweet spot, right? So tethering his range is super important. Um and then you almost can always dodge his Q3 with your dash, or you can just walk around him, right? So movement is super easy against Aatrox. Um, and then his W tether is absolute trash, probably one of the worst abilities in the game. Um, but yeah, you definitely get wave three push, so you can always cheat a recall into Dark Seal, which is super important. Um, and then you actually have really good kill pressure at level six. If he doesn't rush Maw, um, it's a really easy matchup in my opinion, and you super hard outscale unless you're like down 3,000 gold. So I like this matchup a lot. Um, Akali, I think, is a hard matchup, but if you understand how to trade and if you use the edge combo to dodge her um, little like dash, the sugar, shuriken E, I think the matchup is a lot easier. It still definitely is a Kali favored, it's just, you can for sure win, especially with Ignite, you do have timers. You'll just have to be safe at level six, but you do confidently outscale. So Akshan, I think Akshan is Gwyn favored, but I know for a fact, a lot of people struggle just with understanding his range and playing around it, but you do have very clear windows. You can. You can use the edge combo EQW, and he can't really trade back. Um, you do have to be a little bit careful because he can use the wall to, you know, continue the trade on to you and force a bit of a trade. But I think you have very clear windows, play safe early game, use bushes to drop minion aggro, and you super hard outscale, right? So once you have one to two items, you can just alt onto him. Make sure to stay on top of him to stop his hook dash, and then he's just dead. Right. He can't really ever side lane against you. It's super, super easy. Um, so Ari, this is a matchup that I personally think is very easy. It's just kind of neutralizing. So you do have a hard time killing her after level six, unless the Ari makes a mistake. Um, but you can always use QEW and do a really good trade. You know, you can't hit, get hit by her charm. I think it's super easy. Um, you won't see this much top lane, but it's worth putting in here. Anivia is kind of similar. It's a bit of a neutralizing lane. Um, you do kind of have a hard time killing her when she has a Seraph's Embrace. But I don't have an issue with it. If I'm facing an Anivia, this is my personal role as a top laner. Because I'm so confident in my skill in like late game team fights. If any champ allows me to scale for free, I'm super happy. Right? And this is another one you won't really see much, but I've faced it quite a bit. So it's worth putting in here. Aurora is such a hard matchup. It is disgusting. Um, she has a lot of movement speed with her E, her Q. Um, there's, I don't know if it's a bug, but if she Qs the wave and uses the Q2 drag through, even if you have W activated, it'll still do damage to you if she's outside the outside the range. So this matchup is unbelievably hard. At level six, it's similar to Ari. You can't really kill her because she has her R, she has her E, she has Q moving speed. This is one of the only matchups that you have to take Ghost into. And I think if you're forced to take Ghost because it's such a bad summoner, you're you're already at a disadvantage so this is really bad potentially even in a dodge slash ban if you if you hate the match if you have the champion that much you can 
ban it. I don't have an issue with that. Um, but I'm just going to put it in hard. Do think it's winnable. Azir, see, this is this is a high-low thing. I think Azir is incredibly difficult for Gwyn. Um, just because you have no real early game agency. Um, yes, you can EQW. But he just stays back. He can E back. It, it's just hard to play. At one item, you for sure... You for sure spike. You can get a lot of kills. Even at level six, you can you can definitely get some kills um, if you edge properly. For, for me, it's just annoying to face, um, but I think it's not too bad. I would say it's skill or Gwyn favored, um, for sure. Annie, I mean, you're never really gonna see this, but the matchup is super super easy. You can dodge most of her abilities. Um, like her Q is super telegraphed, so she's always gonna have to do W stun. But if she's walking up for a trade, you can just EQW and she can't really trade back to you. She's forced to walk in. And if she does walk into you, you can extend the trade. If you have R, use R and walk her down. Um, so this matchup is super, super easy. So Belveth is actually a matchup you won't see often, but it's one of the, specifically in jungle, it definitely counters you. But if you're facing it top lane, it's a unexpected, like slightly cheese pick. To be fair, it's not very good anymore. So I think it's much easier, but I'm gonna just say skill matchup because if the Belveth knows how to how to like fight you, I think it can be quite hard. You have to really play safe early game and scale up to like one to two items. So Briar is just such a trash champion right now. I think uh, if they're picking this, just lock in Gwyn and win every time. Um, you have to be a little bit safe around like level five because her damage is surprising. So if you don't have W, she can actually just run you down. Um, but you're always gonna have Ignite. So just save your Ignite when she's low HP, heal Cutter and you can basically always get free kills. Super, super easy. Also, I think uh, Camille is, so this is patch 14.21. So this is like nerfed Camille. Camille used to be pretty hard i would say it was probably enemy favor just because the champ was in an overloaded state but i would say it's a skill matchup for sure um if not like win favored i'm just gonna say i'm gonna say it's Gwyn favored for sure cassiopeia is difficult in my opinion um you can eq trade you just have to play safe early i, I don't love matchups where you have to play safe um so this one is pretty difficult. You have good kill pressure at level six. You just have to play around her ultimate. If you get if you get stonewalled at any point, you're just instantly dead. Um, but yeah, your W is going to be your best friend here, uh, and you for sure outscale. You do outscale. And now that I think about it, actually, the issue with Cassio is if you ever get hit by our ulti late game, you're just dead no matter what. So you have to be really careful walking into bushes with no vision. Um, you have to be you have to be confident while fighting her, really, and use your W properly. So Cho'Gath, Cho'Gath is probably the, your best matchup in the entire game, in my opinion. It's complete trash. The only way he wins is if he goes full AP, and if he goes full AP, it can be hard. But you just have to you just have to play safe a little bit when he has ulti. Um, but I think this is an incredibly simple matchup. You always have push, you outscale him. The only way he really beats you is through attrition. So just don't allow that. So this is 14.21 again. Um, Corky is incredibly broken. So in its current state, it's like <laughs> hard slash ban. Corky is super difficult right now. Um, but for the most part, Corky's not. Not a super good pick against Gwen. Plus, you outscale him super hard. So you just play around your W. He's forced to like W into you, walk into you, and by that time he's already dead. Right. Um, so pretty hard right now, but I'd say in the future it's gonna be super easy. Darius is probably a skill matchup, potentially favored towards the enemy. I would I'm gonna just stick it in skill. Um, this is a matchup that is one of the only ones where you can't you have a weaker all-in than him. So if you're 
100% HP, and he's 100% HP, you don't want to fight him. Because the big thing with Darius is his passive. If you allow him to get five passive stacks, and he can R you, you're going to die 100% of the time. So you have to take short little trades, maybe with your W. Um, but yeah, when you have Q stacks, and get him down to like 60% HP. And when that happens, you can actually, you have really good kill pressure with Ignite. Um, and then you do have to scale him very hard. Again, it's a similar thing. If he gets five passive stacks on you late game, it can actually be difficult, even if he doesn't have a lead. Um, Dr. Mundo. Dr. Mundo is incredibly easy. One of the freest matchups in the entire game, in my opinion. He doesn't really ever have kill pressure on you. Um, and then you just outscale him. You have a free lane. You have a free late game. You can play side lane against him. I love this matchup. If they're picking Dr. Mundo, it's a free win for you. So next one is going to be Fiora. Fiora used to be ban slash dodge. Um, I think as I've become a better Gwyn player, Fiora has become easier and easier. I would say it is very playable now. I'd say it's probably enemy favored still. Um, but if you understand how to play around her W, I think it's quite easy. Not easy, but it's manageable, I would say. For sure it's manageable. Um, you can always use your, your E dash to dodge her W. The biggest thing is just don't get hit by her parry and then walk with her actual passive stacks, right? So if it if the passive is below you, position below, so she has to move a further distance to actually proc it. Um, but once you have level six, you actually do have really good kill pressure with Ignite. Um, so just make sure to save your Ignite for her ulti and then it should be super easy. And make sure not to stack your Q plus R, obviously because she has parry. So make sure to have distinctive rotations. Um, GP, GP I think is incredibly easy. Um, potentially free, but it can be definitely difficult with early game poke, especially if you don't know how to play around his barrels. But your W has a much shorter cooldown than his barrels, so... Your goal here is to force out a double barrel combo. So if you can force two barrels out, that's like a 40 second cooldown for your 20 second cooldown. That's really, really good. Um, only blocking his Q isn't great value. So you should try not to do that. You should try not to block his Q grasp proc with your W. Um, and then whenever you have, you have Ignite, you have very, very easy kill windows. Um, you have to be a little bit careful with his cleanse. If you don't properly use your R, he can just insta cleanse and run away. But a lot of times you can just preemptively ignite and then R him and he will be forced to cleanse the R slow. And it's super, super easy. Um, he can cheese you late game a little bit um, by sitting in bushes with barrels, but it's not a not a super big issue. Um, Heimerdinger. See, I know a lot of high low Gwyn, uh, Gwyn players that think this matchup is fine. I don't love it. I really don't. You have to play safe early game, which I'm not a big fan of. And then he can also just cheese you. Um, so late game, he can just cheese bushes. And if you walk into him uncontested, he just insta one shots you with his, with his E. So I'm not a big fan. I would say it's probably, I'm just going to say it's enemy favored. Um, enemy, if not like, if not hard, because his little turrets also damage you while you're inside your W and he's outside of it. Um, so yeah, because it's a distinctive unit. So I I really hate this matchup. So Galio, Galio is super free in my opinion. Um, he can have kill pressure on you if he goes AP. Um, if he goes tank, there's literally no chance for him to win. Potentially, I'd put it in Gwen favored. This is super easy matchup. You get to scale for free. You you outscale him super hard. I'm a super big fan of this one. You can also play this mid, obviously, if you want to. Um, Garen. Garen is probably... See, it's not the worst matchup in the game. I think probably Aurora is worse. It's just that Garen is incredibly simple. His passive sustain makes trading 
basically worthless. Um, and you can just take super short trades and all in you once you're like 60 HP. If he takes phase rush, he actually outscales you. It's one of the only champs in the game that outscales you 1v1 in side lane. Um, so really your only way to kill him is pre-level 6. And that's incredibly difficult just because the champ is the champ is super broken with Doran's shield. Um, and then phase rush, you know, you can always just speed away. So I, I personally, this is my perma ban. I, uh, I'm not a fan of Garen, not a fan of Garen at all. Um, Nar currently is pretty buffed right now. I would say historically, this matchup has been incredibly easy just because Nar's a weak champion. Um, but right now, it's kind of just stonewally. You do outscale Nar for sure. It's just a little bit difficult to get on top of them. I would say once you're level six. You can for sure use proper Q rotation or R rotations, I'm sorry, um, and actually kill him. Um, you just have to be careful of his wave, right? Because he can double jump on his wave and it is super hard to lock him down. But this matchup is similar to the Aurora one. You can take Ghost. I think it's viable. It's just Ignite is probably a little better. I'm going to put it in skill matchup. It's potentially enemy favored just because he can always kite you. Um, but I'll put skill match up because you for sure can win this one. Gragas is... It's interesting because it's a stonewall matchup. So you do have a hard time killing Gragas, especially if he has phase rush. But he doesn't really have the ability to kill you unless you're making major trading mistakes, right? So if you stand inside your wave, don't get eat for free. Um, you're always going to have Q to dodge hit, or you're going to always going to have W to dodge his Q. Um, and then you have a really, you have the ability to play around his like R knockback, right? So when you're all in in him, if you aren't stunned, obviously, you can EQ forward, say he just wasted an E or something. You can take a step back, W, and when he R's, you can actually dodge that by using the edge of your W. Um, so I'm actually a pretty big fan. It is hard to kill him late game. Um, you know, he can always just run away, but you do confidently outscale him. I, uh, I'm i a fan of that matchup, I'd say. Irelia. I actually think Irelia is quite easy for Gwen. Um, yes, she's a little bit weak right now. She's getting buffed next patch, so potentially this changes. Um, I think if you understand how Irelia, if you understand how Gwen works, let me say that, you understand how Aurelia works because she's incredibly, um, she's like stack reliant, just like Gwen. So if she doesn't have passive stacks, she is like a caster minion, basically. So you can use that to your advantage by slow pushing waves. So you have a level one advantage. That's massive. So you have level one advantage, which means you can take Q stacks on wave. If she walks up to trade ever, you can just trade into her. The important thing, though, is you can't let her Q the three first minions, the melees. If you let her like back to back trade, she'll get four Q stacks on you and she'll actually win. Um, so make sure you don't do that. Instantly stack your Qs, push into her, get a three wave crash. And when it's bouncing back into you, just play safe because she is really strong with her Q stacks. If she hits E on you on a, those bouncing waves, you're just dead. Um, and you're just playing waves, right? So you're going to push back into him. Um, if you ever, you know, tries to walk up without his Q stacks, you can just Q into him. Um, I'm a really big fan. And whenever you are fighting him, you can always use your W to dock, dodge his E or you can use your dash. So I think I'm a really big fan of this matchup. I would even put it in free, to be honest. I will say that late game, you do for sure outscale him. It's just if you don't properly use your Q, he can dodge it quite easily. You have you have to be very, very patient, especially if you're fighting in a wave. Um so yeah, you should try to fight her, like, you know, in the jungle or um, you can definitely cheese Irelia, but I'm a big fan. Gotta, gotta watch out for her Bork Spike as well. Um, Jax is, I'd say a skill matchup. It used to be super hard in the, oops. Um, it used to be super hard in the past, but it actually has gotten a lot easier with just item changes and a lot of different things. Um, I'd definitely say it's a skill matchup now. Um, maybe, maybe enemy favored, probably just skill matchup. You have a very easy way to dodge his W 
or his uh, E, I'm sorry. You can E backwards. If he Qs onto you, you can actually extend the trade. If you have R and Ignite, you just kill him. Um, you can also do a thing where he, his dub or his E is about to pop, and then you E backwards and then redirect your W so he can't Q onto you. That's a little advanced, but um, definitely something you can do. You know, I wouldn't say I'm a fan of this matchup for sure. Um, you know, you have to play safe early game. You have to play safe level one, give prio. Um, but once you have level three, you can actually start trading into him. And when you have Q stacks, you're actually much stronger, right? So you can pressure off CS. He has to respect you. Um, and you actually have good all-in potential. You really do. So he, he kind of does outscale you, though. It's up in the air, to be honest. When, you know, I think it's how you play it, really. It's for sure how you play it. J4 is just just free. If they're picking J4 top lane, you know, they've lost the game, I'd say. Um, he doesn't really have the damage to kill you. You super hard outscale. Um, yeah, he can be a little bit difficult to to run down, but his dash isn't even that far. I, you know, I love this matchup. You won't see it often, obviously, but yeah, I think it's very easy. Jace. Jace is so hard to face, especially high elo. If he takes phase rush, I think this is like one of the worst matchups in the game. Um, you do have kill pressure around level six. So the thing is, you have to play around his phase rush. So you have to like force one trade that doesn't, you know, completely chunk you um, to force out his phase rush, potentially let him like auto you three times. Some people, some uh, Jays will auto you three times with their W um, and pop their phase rush. If they do that, you actually have a kill pressure. Um, but if the Jace is playing properly, I think it's almost impossible for you to ever actually kill him. Um, I will say if he takes Conquer or like Electrocute, it's super, super easy. Um, <laughs> you just destroy him at two items basically. But the, th the unique thing about Jace is that he kind of outscales you in a, in a way because late game side lane, like think about it. He, he cues you. Switches to hammer form, cues you, ease you away, and then just runs away. Like you have a very hard time actually killing him just because how insane phase rush is. And it has movement slow, resist, and you know, I, I don't love that matchup. I don't. Karma is interesting because you can't ever kill her for the most part. Um, she can always tether you. Her tether if I'm not mistaken, applies to you even if she's outside of the box in your, you know, you're in your W because um, it's like an instance or something like that. Um, so you can't really ever kill her. Her shields are insane, movement speed, hard to hit Ws. But it's like, and she is kind of a lane bully, right? So you have to play super safe early game. The thing is, is that you like really, really hard outscale her. Um, so probably... Gwyn favored, you know, I, I do, I'm not a fan of this matchup, but I think it's fine. Um, Kale is a pretty hard matchup, I think, especially, like, the thing is, is that Kale is just a weak champion. So Kale is weak, which makes the matchup easier. But I think if Kale is in a better state, this would be an unplayable matchup. Because um, you really have to, you have to force fights pre-level six and yes you do have kill pressure level six um but you have to properly use your w right so you have to edge properly force her to use ulti and then you know kite her out with your w or because if you're just standing inside her ulti you're gonna lose i'd say um so you have to really be confident around your r usage and be able to punish her early game um but yeah, I think if you're using your W, your EQW trade, I think this is probably Gwyn favored just because the champ sucks. <laughs> I think the champ is terrible. So, um, Kane is honestly a terrible matchup. Um, you know, this is an interesting thing where I said before that I love matchups where I'm able to scale for free. This is kind of one of those. Um, Kane does have a hard time killing you. I will say his damage is deceptively like high um but late game he destroys you so hard it's unbelievable so kane in the jungle already kind of counters gwen um just because i mean he dashes around goes in walls um 
but he kind of just one shots you and you have no ability to to really counter him all right so if you q4 he just ults you um i think this matchup is really quite difficult I, i'm not a fan i'm not a fan um Kenan, this is probably one of the worst matchups in the entire game especially in high low so i've talked to to kill a g about Kenan, and he told me it's like oh this matchup is fine I personally believe this matchup is okay if you're below masters. If you're below masters, Kinnons don't know how to utilize their range, their E, um, and you know, you're know, you open to more opportunities to actually kill her. I think if you're facing really, really good players, um, Kinnon is incredibly difficult unless she makes a severe mistake, like using her E on the wave or messing up her stun combo. Um, this is really difficult. Um, Ignite does help. You do have, I will say, you have kill windows for sure. Um, it's just, it's difficult. Um, and she definitely outscales you in team fights late game, which is like a unique, I'd say a unique thing. Um, but you should just play side lane, try to draw her out. Um, but yeah, I, I hate this matchup. Potentially dodge, potentially ban. You could put it in hard. Um, I'm just going to put it in dodge slash ban. One of the worst matchups in the game. Uh, next one is Kled. Kled is probably a skill matchup or Gwyn favored. I think it's quite easy to play. Um, the only way he really beats you is by hitting his Q. So if you if you kind of just maneuver properly, be unpredictable, um, be ready to dodge his Q. If he ever hits his Q, I mean, try not to fight him. You know, E away, do whatever. Um, something you can do with Kled is dodge his E dash with your W. So if he looks like he's about a W, you can EQ forward and dodge his E so he can't redirect onto you. Um, that helps a lot. But um, at level six, you actually have really, really good kill pressure, especially with Ignite. The issue is, is that his R kind of is just disengaged. So if you're ever close to killing him, he just R's away, gets a little bit of a shield, and it is hard to kill him, but... You you super super hard outscale. So I'm gonna just put in Gwen favored. I love that matchup. So Cassante, I've heard rumors that this champion is completely busted now. Um, I personally haven't faced it, um, so I'm just gonna go off my previous knowledge, and I would say that it was a skill matchup. Um, I'm gonna assume nothing has changed too much. Um, you have to play around his W. I know for a fact now that his W does a lot more damage. So I'd imagine trying, you know, try not to stand inside his W. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, he kind of spikes at one item because he gets a he gets a cheaper item than you. So this is an interesting thing with Cassante. He has a super, super cheap first item, which means he actually can l l leverage that to get an advantage. So he has 2,800, you have a 31, you have Nashers. Um, so a lot of the times Cassante can come back with item and like actually abuse you for a bit you just have to play around that timer and you should be fine um the thing i like about this matchup is that you have level one push so you can always push into Cassante. you get level three reset get your dark seal um and you can maybe look for a kill on wave five with your jungler um but yeah this matchup it's fine because even if you get behind you just super hard out scale late game um you know you should be playing side lane getting towers i'm a fan of the Cassante matchup for sure. LeBlanc is unironically one of the worst matchups in the entire game top lane. Um, you have no ability to ever kill her because she can always use her W backwards. Her chain, her E chain applies to you even if she's outside the box. Um, Cause in instance, it's really hard. Um, yes, you can dodge her Q with your W. That's like, you know, one saving grace. But it means nothing, really. You have no ability to ever kill her. Um, you have to like hope that you have a really good jungler um, that can actually lock her down. I I despise this matchup. It's really bad, especially if you're facing a good LeBlanc. Um, Lissandra is just a stonewall matchup. Like she can kind of kill you, but like not really. You uh you can't ever actually get on top of her because she can just e away. She like walks into you, w's and e's away. It's annoying. She kind of like, she honestly has the ability to one shot you late game. 
it's weird. If she builds full AP, she can actually, if you don't W like instantly, even if you do, to be honest, if she has a jungler, you're just insta dead. It's, it's strange. I would say it's kind of easy. Like you're scaling for free. You shouldn't really be behind. Um, use your W properly. And, you know, don't greed your W. You have to W instantly when you see her. But, and I'd say late game, just play with your jungler so you don't get uh, collapsed on the side lane. But I'd say it's pretty free. Um, I love Malphite. Malphite is like one of my favorite matchups in the entire game. When people pick it, I just have a smile on my face. Um, he does have good like team fighting mid game, but for the most part, he should be behind a lot of gold. So the thing is, if he takes comment, you can just W every single Q he throws at you for the most part. And there's this thing where if you wait until the W is actually out, he'll use the mana. So Malphite is an extremely mana hungry champion. So, you know, when he, you force out multiple Qs like that, it's really, really hard for him to play because um, he's not getting mana flow stacks and you're not getting damaged. Um, it's just super easy, in my opinion. You can slow push every single wave. If he ever contests, you can do an auto Q for a trade and like chunk them. Um, you have really, really good kill pressure pre-level six and after level six you even do um because if you're trading your ulti for his ulti it's major value because his is a longer cooldown i'd say it's more impactful for the most part um and with ignite you can really eat through him pretty easily in my opinion love this matchup um love Ma maokai as well um basically similar to everything else i basically everything i just said apply some malphite um good mid game team fights um he can be a little bit tricky, but I'd say this this matchup is super easy. Use your Ignite, your R, and just run him down. I uh, love that one. I'm just going to do Nautilus right here. I'm going to just do all the tanks. This is super easy as well. Um, he never has kill pressure on you. You hard outscale him. Um, you can dodge his R with your W. There's so much you can do with this matchup. It's very easy you probably won't see it much anymore just because the champ isn't strong yeah um orn is actually one of the harder tank matchups i know that sounds weird but um he actually does have kill pressure on you um especially around level six so if he gets a brittle proc and an enoch up so his combo is w um so he'll like Throw his Q on the ground, right? So he's a little pillar, pillar. W. And if that happens and you're standing by pillar, he will E you. Proc his, proc his brittle proc off his W. And then while you're knocked up, he'll R. And as you come down, he R's you, brittle proc, and then you're just basically dead. It's it's actually insane. He can get like two to three brittle procs um, if you mess up. To be fair, you should never be, you should never, you know, allow that to happen. But, you know, it's one of the only tanks in the entire game that actually has like definite, definitive kill pressure at level six. Um, I'd still say it's free, but yeah, just got to be a little bit careful. You skill for sure. Watch out for his jungler. Um, and you can always dodge his, his R with your W. I like that matchup a lot. Um, Poppy is, I, I will actually say the hardest tank matchup for sure um poppy's objective is to just fist fight with you early game he he's way stronger than you um his grass bottles are insane his passive passive shield is really good his q base damage is just ridiculous um and at level six it's really frustrating because he can just r you away right so if you ever actually look for an all in, he just R's, walks into your W, and you know, you you can't ever really kill him. Um, so it can be a can be a little bit annoying for sure. Um, but you do outskill him really hard, play side lane. Um, yeah. Walk away from walls, that's super important. If uh if he's e if he looks like he's about to eat you into a wall, just walk away. Pretty simple. Um Ramos is incredibly free. Um, try not to auto into his W, um, but keep Q stacks up. Try to avoid his proxy. So like walk with your wave. This is one of the only champions where you should actually be worried about that. Um, yeah, so walk with your wave from from the start. 
Um, you kind of outscale him. Try not to combo your Q and R into his because like he he'll R away right. So try not to combo your Q and R. Uh, yeah, su super easy, super easy. He kind of does have kill pressure on you at Thorn Rail, but uh, don't worry about it. Uh, Rek'Sai is like another tank champion. This used to be a disgusting, disgusting matchup when Rek'Sai was super strong. I think I faced it a few times now. It's super bad. Um, doesn't ever have kill pressure on you. You hard out scale. It can be a little bit annoying to deal with his tunnels, but you know, I think it, I think it's fine now. Uh, Sejuani. Sejuani is at one point was incredibly broken top lane. That was like two years ago. Nobody really plays her anymore. I think she is just simple to face. Most of the times they will go ignite, um, which is like can be a little risky. But to be honest, you should never be at a health dis disadvantage where, you know, she can actually kill you. Keep your Q stacks up, push waves, let her slow push into you and look for kills when you, uh, you're near your tower. Um, I will say be careful of jungle ganks. Um, she does have really, really good gank setup with her QR, but that's about all. Um, Scion. Scion is also incredibly free. Basically, every single tank matchup is pretty easy for Gwen, to be honest. Um, the thing with this one, if you want to play like Baos and just int 20 deaths, you really can. Because at two items, doesn't matter how behind you are. I'm not even joking. If he's at five items and you're at two, you beat him. Um, bit of an exaggeration, but, you know, same. Pretty close. <laughs> um, I love this matchup. Probably probably my second favorite matchup in the entire game for Gwen. Um, then Shin. I also think Shin is very, very easy. Uh, one of the, to be honest, is probably one of the harder tank matchups i could put it like in gwen favored um he kind of does have kill pressure on you like just a little bit with his e dash um but it's not super super real i think um just play around your cues don't get don't get like super chunked early game watch out for a q drag through so his q drag through empowers his autos and um slows you so don't let that happen but I think it's pretty easy. Um, maybe Gwen favored. I'm going to put it in free. Um, Skarner. I actually haven't faced Skarner in a very long time. Um, I would imagine it's a lot weaker. At one point, this was an unplayable matchup. Because um, he can just eat you into a wall. I would say, to be honest, I don't have practical experience anymore. But... I would just say use your Q stacks. Um, watch out for, for his tower. He can like flash, flash W U into or E U into tower, um, knock you into wall. It's really, really hard. Um, yeah, try to save your dash to dodge his his E because his or his R. I'm sorry because his E dur uh, stun duration isn't long enough, so you can actually always jump out of it before you get R'd. Um, but yeah, I'd say this is. Probably down here. Um, Tom Kench is actually can be difficult. Um, it's similar to to Skarner because you can get kidnapped pretty easily. So just watch out when you're near his tower. But you know, if you're using Q stacks, it should be fine. Use your wave to you know not take free pu Q poke. Um, in my opinion, this is a super easy matchup. Um, you outscale him super hard. I will say you have kind of a hard time killing him because he can always use his little tunnel to run away. Um, so it can be kind of annoying, but, you know, should be fine. Um, Udir is interesting because I think it's pretty easy, but you have to play safe early. He actually beats you. One of the only champs that, like, hard run you down level one because his R slow is super oppressive and... You know, he has approach velocity, velocity and he just runs at you. Um, so it can definitely be frustrating, you know, pre-level 9. Um, but you definitely start out scaling him when you have Nashers. And once you have like 3 to 4 items, you just completely destroy him. So I'd say it's around here. Let me put Darius up here. Um, 
I'm like this. And then, I mean, oh, I'm scrolling too far down. Um, Zach is interesting because I think Zach can be very hard to kill. Um, especially early game, pre-level six. But I think if you're using your Ignite properly, you can get him to a super low HP. So this is the thing. Zach can't actually walk up and contest wave level one. So you're going to have a level one push. He might start Q, might start W. Most, most Zachs start W. Um, and what you can do is just stack your Q up on wave, take an auto Q trade with him. You know, you maintain push because you hit the wave a little bit and then you just slow push. Um, you're going to get a, Easy three wave crash, reset, get your dark seal. And by the time you get to wave, he'll like have healed up a bit. So he'll be like almost full HP just because Zach has a missing health HP healing. Um, so he can always heal. Um, but as you slow push into him, you have to be very cognizant of the jungle. So watch out for the jungle. Um, and then try not to get like traded with his Q. So what he'll do sometimes is auto a minion with his Q and then walk up to you. And then that allows him to combo his E. If you don't let that happen, you can actually stop the minion crash, like the wave crash on wave five, and actually look for a kill with your ignite. Um, if that doesn't happen, it's fine. Um, be safe around his ulti. So he can kind of like kidnap you under ulti if he hits Q and then he E's and then knocks you up, insta kills wave. So it can be a little frustrating. Don't get baited into that. Um, but yeah, you should for sure look to kill him when he's like 50 50% 50 HP because you reduce his healing. Um, try to step on all of his blobs, especially when he has ulti. Um, and then you like super hard outscale him. So I'm actually kind of a fan of this matchup, but it can be for sure frustrating and difficult. Um, we will just go with the other matchups now. Um, Mordekaiser is can be difficult i would say if you don't properly use your w to dodge at least one of his abilities you kind of just lose and if you ever let him ulti you while you're in your w you just get absolutely destroyed because he steals your resistances while you're in your w and then it fades away way while you're in his uh ult realm and he keeps them right so you have reduced um mr and he has increased. So it's just unplayable, I'd say, if you let that happen. So always save your W. Um, you have level one push, which is massive. You can look for kills on waves four and five, especially with your jungler. I'd say if you're using your ignite properly, you can always kill him. Um, just save your E. Like try not to E into him because if you if you get hit by an isolated Q, you know, you're kinda <laughs> you're kinda dead. So try to save your E to dodge one of his big abilities um and just space outside of his q range and i think it'll be pretty easy for you um i'm a pretty big fan of nasus i would say it's probably gwyn favored um as you can see with this matchup uh, tier list i'm pretty i'm pretty like biased just because like i think a lot of matchups are easier than they are just because i'm good at gwyn and I, I think Nasus is similar. If you properly pressure him with your Q stacks, you can actually like look to dive. You can look to kill him a bunch. I think it's super, super simple. Yes, you're like a little bit reliant on your jungler coming top lane. Um, but by the time you're like level nine, you should have like a 1.5k goal lead pretty, pretty consistently. I almost never lose to Nasus. Um you can EQW to dodge his wither. So you can like initiate a trade. He won't be able to wither you. And you can actually look to chunk him. And if if you do, you know, chunk him to 50 HP, 50% 50 HP, you can actually look to kill him immediately because when he first W, 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 U, you know, that word is crazy. Um, the attack speed slow it's like ramping. So by the end of it, it's way higher than at the beginning. So you can actually look to kill him before it fully ramps up with your R and Ignite. Um, you have to be a little bit careful because this is one of the only champs that kind of outscales you late game if you're even. Not kind of, he just does. So he actually outscales you late game. Um, but you should have like a pretty massive gold lead 
and it shouldn't be a massive, massive issue. If you are struggling, just play with your jungler and try to 2v1 him. Um, Nico is, I'd say probably a skill matchup. Could be enemy favored. You you kind of have a hard time killing Nico, I would say. Um, you know, you, you should always use your EQW. Um, you dodge off all of her abilities, but she just Ws away. It's, it's kind of hard to kill her. Um, a lot of a lot of Nikos would like use AD, so they'll go Bork and just run you down. Um, you know, use super hard outscaler. Just play safe early. You could maybe run a Dorn Shield. Um, use bushes. This matchup isn't too difficult, I'd say. Um, Nocturne is actually maybe a skill matchup. I would say Pro probably Gwen favored. I don't think it's that difficult. The mat the champ itself is like pretty terrible. <laughs> um, yeah, just watch out for his E if he uses E. I don't exactly know how Nocturne works. If I'm going to be honest with you, but I think it gives like a attack speed ramp or something like that. What I do know is when he E's you, you get absolutely one shot to. Try to dash out of that before before the uh, E goes off. Um, and then it's actually interesting because it's hard to side lane against Nocturne because what he can do is R and then engage on your team and you can't TP on. Um, like you can't TP on a ward to help your team. Um, so you have to be really aware of what's happening on the map and be sure to, you know, if somebody is engaging, instantly TP on a ward. That's just a little tip. Um, Olaf has always been one of the hardest matchups for, for Gwen. So I'm going to put it like up here. Um, put it like there. Olaf can be easier once you understand how to play around him. So if it's a really bad Olaf, the matchup is super free, I'd say. Just because you can dodge his first Q um, with your W and then E into him and then walk away from his, his Q. And you can just... You know, kind of kill him. You should try to poke him down to like 60% HP and then all in him when you have ulti. Um, ulti and ignite. But the thing is, you have to fight him when you have ignite. If you don't have ignite, you just completely lose 100% of the time. Um, but yeah, play safe early. Um, push or try to kill him on bouncing waves. Use your jungler. Um, and then late game, you, you hard out scale for sure. Uh, Pantheon is super difficult like one of the worst matchups in my opinion um just because like your windows are difficult because if he's properly using his e he just soaks all your damage and then like one shots you right because he can just q poke you um he can kind of stay outside your q range because his q is slightly longer than yours um which forces you to e into him if you want to you know confirm damage and if he does that if you do that he can just w you and kind of kill you with conquer and ignite um you do really outscale him at like one to two items um and i'd say you have you actually have pretty good kill pressure at level six so play around your level six don't die early game don't get stomped and the matchup shouldn't be that difficult for you quinn i'm actually see this matchup is hard like if you look at any of the statistic websites, the matchup is supposed to be like one of the hardest in the entire game. I don't think it's that difficult if you use your W properly. I will, out of respect for the matchup, put it up here. But I think if you're using your W properly, you can actually chase her down super easily with Ignite. Um, so you can just EQW, like if she ever steps up incorrectly. And what that forces is her to, like, you force her to walk into your W to E you away. And by that time, you can get at least one R off. Um, and then whenever she E's away, she's in a, a a locked position, right? So she's dashing in one direction. And that allows you to hit your R2. Um, and by then, you can just run her down. It's super easy. Um, just play safe early game. Watch out for her W because she gives vision of bushes. But yeah. Renekton is as skill matchup as you can get, really. Um, I'd say it's easier than Jax. Um, you can just fist fight level one. Um, he has good kill pressure level six. You have good kill pressure level six. You have to use your ignite. This is like one of the funnest matchups in the entire game. I love Renekton. Um, 
if you guys PTA Ignite, it can be a little difficult for you just because he completely one shots you. Um, but, you know, one to two items, you're going to super hard outscale. Try not to get stomped by the jungler. If they have a, if they have Nidley Renekton, you know, you can just play a little bit safer. That's fine. Um, big, big fan of Renekton matchup, though. Uh, Riven is just disgusting. One of the worst matchups in the entire game for uh for Gwen, even if you're playing better than them. Um, it's super hard. He kind of can one-shot you in your W late game. Um I know a lot of I know a lot of Gwen players that ban this. It's uh it's pretty bad. I personally am like neutral on it. I think it's playable. Um you know, play safe early. When you're pushing into them, you can you can look for trades when you have Q stacks. Um, and at level six, you actually kind of do have kill pressure. Um, you need to just trade. You kind of have to trade into him so he has like 70% HP. Um, and then W early so you don't get one shot. Um, and you can kind of look for kills, but it's just difficult, right? Because he can always dash around to dodge your R, your Q, you know. It's a fresh, I'll say it's a very, very frustrating matchup for sure. Uh, Ringar used to be like a dodge slash ban uh, when he was super strong top lane. He's been nerfed since, I do believe. Um, so I would just say he's really hard. You have to play safe early game. Um, you have to play safe early game. But once you're pushing into him, I think it, you have an easier time. Um you know, you can ignite his W heal. You outscale him pretty pretty easily. And he's just not a super, super good champ anymore. So I'm going to like put him down here. Maybe even skill matchup, to be honest. He he used to be really hard, but I think it's gotten a lot better. I'm going to put him I'm gonna put him down here. Oh, I'm going to put him below Cassante. Um, Rise is just an annoying champion. Like, he's not actually that difficult, I would say. Because, I mean, you can, like, you, the lane is pretty free. He kind of has a hard time killing you because you have your W. Um, it's just with Phase Rush, you know, he kind of he kind of just W, W, U, W, U. Yo, I can't say that shit. Um, and then runs away. So, I mean, it can be it can be frustrating. I think it's easy. You can scale for free. Yeah. Um, Probably not Gwen favorite. I'd say maybe a skill matchup. Low, low skill matchup. Rumble used to be devious. It used to actually be like a dodge slash ban. Um, fortunately, they have nerfed Rumble a lot. So he's a much worse champion now. Um, if anything, he's so bad now. I believe they're buffing him next patch. But he's like Gwen favored right now. Um, you just kind of tank all his damage early game. And at level 6, you just destroy him even if he is Ignite. Um, but I'd say out of respect, I'd say it's probably a skill matchup still. Um, just play safe early game when you're pushing him, trade, and then at level six, you can actually kill him really easily with Ignite. Um, and then late game, I mean, you just brutalize him. There's not much he can do. Um, set. Set is potentially Gwyn favored, maybe skill matchup. Because the thing is, is if Set uses his E properly, you have a very hard time trading into him because a lot of Set's damage is his W true damage. And so if Set understands how to set up his W true damage properly, you're going to have a difficult time fighting him, even in the late game. So even if you have a gold lead, I mean, if you have a gold lead, to be fair, you kind of just run over him. But um, if you're like even late game, if he, if he hits a true damage W proc on you, you actually just die. Um, so you really have to bait his E out and then look for an all in. But if you're able to do that properly, you have very, very good kill pressure level six. Um, and I'm, you know, not the biggest fan of this matchup. It can be frustrating, but I think it's not super bad for sure. Not super bad. Um, Shaco, Shaco is like kind of like the tank matchups. He can never really kill you. You can't really kill him. Um, I face Pink Ward. <laughs> I face Pink Ward like a hundred times in this matchup. He's like a little gnat, you know what I mean? I mean, not a little gnat, but um, he's just 
it, it, it's an annoying matchup because you can't ever kill him. You scale for free, so it's fine. Um, and he's just like frustrating in team fights. It's it's whatever, really. I think I am. I think it's free personally. It's like up here. Um, Shivana is just terrible. Um, this was good at one point, but not anymore. You just brutalize him early game. You outscale him. Can't ever fight you. <laughs> Super easy. Um, singed. So <clears throat> similar to similar to one of the matchups I forget. Oh, Quinn. Um, Singed is supposed to be incredibly difficult for Gwen. I think that comes from a lack of understanding of how to play the matchup. Good Singe player NA, mission cap, um, all like the random unknown Singe players. And I personally think it's not that difficult. Um, with Ignite Conqueror, he can stat check you level one, I think. So it's just like play safe a little bit. <laughs> The thing is, if he has Ignite Conquer, he just doesn't really scale that well. You know, so just play safe for the first three levels and then start trading into him. Um, but, like, if he doesn't have Ignite TP, or not Ignite TP, sorry, Flash, Flash Ignite, um, you can kind of just beat his ass on the wave. Um, and then push into him. If he ever tries to proxy, like, this is my, I've said this, like, if they allow me to scale for free, I'm happy. So if there's if they're proxying, buy a call, <laughs> buy a call, and then just proxy with him. But you should try to st like um, stop him from proxying because with ignite you actually do have kill pressure. Um, I've heard people suggest to go ghost, but I don't think you should. In my opinion, just go go ignite and and beat his ass. I'm gonna put it in a skill matchup because I do think it's very easy. Like I would personally, I would put it in free, but I I can see a lot of people struggling with it. Um, Nidley is miserable. Oh my god. Now, low elo players might not struggle with this as much, but there's specifically this high elo player called Wombear, and he, not joking to you, has two ping on the NA server. This guy has two ping, and Nidley is like the probably strongest laner in the entire game, so it just completely destroys you, stays in bushes, one shots you, um, goes like flash ignite. You just can't play. Um, you can kind of kill him at level 6. The thing is, is that he uses bushes for movement speed, so he can kind of just run away at any time. But I'd say you definitely have kill pressure at level 6. Play safe before then. Um, and then once you have 2 to 3 items, you just you destroy this guy. The champ falls off a cliff. Um, but my god, is it frustrating um, before then. Um, Smolder, Smolder used to be broken. Used to be like... Uh, really hard matchup. I think it's fine, personally. If not, like, Gwyn favored. Probably, honestly, like, down here. Um, honestly, you outscale this guy. The ma uh, the lane can be, like, a little annoying. Just use your W properly. Um, you actually have kill pressure on Ignite. Um, chase him down with his ulti. Like, oh, with your ulti, I'm sorry. Like, when you're on your side of the lane, you can look for kills pretty easily. I'm... Kind of a fan. I'm gonna just do the range matchups while we're uh, doing Smolder. Um, Vayne used to be super difficult, right? So Vayne used to be like up here, maybe even dodge. Vayne is in such a bad. If you should know about me, I'm a bit of a Vayne connoisseur myself. Vayne is terrible right now. Um, so it's like kind of a skill matchup just because how bad Vayne is, and especially in low elo, if players don't know how to space properly, I think this matchup is completely free. Um. Use bushes, play safe early, don't get poked out. And then once you're level 3, start using your W to trade into him. Um, and then once he's like 60% health, you can uh, look for an all-in with your Ignite. So pretty pretty easy matchup in my opinion. Um, Swain is just not a good champion top lane, if I'm going to be honest. It's like maybe a little bit difficult. Um, maybe a little difficult, but you kind of outscale him pretty easily. Uh, Salas pretty easy dude it's it's maybe it's like free kind of i just he doesn't ever have kill pressure on you um he can dodge your abilities with his e dash i think it's his e but it doesn't even matter really you kind of just stat check him um you have to watch out for jungler a little bit but i mean you super hard outscale him unless you're down like 3k gold i don't see how you would lose to silas um uh, Trendomir, 
is one of the harder champs in the entire game for for Gwen. I know uh, Ninky used to permaban Gwen, uh, or not Gwen, used to permaban Trindamir. I think it's hard. The thing is, it has to be a really good Trindamir to actually punish Gwen. Like, a bad Riven could beat Gwen. I don't think a bad Trindamir could beat Gwen, personally. Yes, I'm a little biased, but um, I don't hate this matchup. You can actually play on the wave level 1. So before he has Q Fury, you can actually walk up to the wave. Well, Passive Fury. <laughs> Um, before he has passive fury, you can walk up to the wave, get Q stacks and actually trade into him. Um, and you can actually get push, which is like, I don't see a lot of Gwens do that. Um, and then if he tries to E back into you or yeah, like E into you to the wave, just ignite him early. Um, and then continue hitting him. If he runs away, cause most likely he'll ghost and run away. Um, just continue hit the wave and gain prio and once you're level two you can do it whatever whatever um be careful level six because he just always has kill has kill pressure on you um if he does try to all in you use your r to kite him away right so r and then just walk away um you know if he tries to tower dive you use your tower walk around it um you can get hourglass in this matchup it's one of the only ones where it's like super 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 good um because you go full full uh if you go full uh, AP, he can actually kill you even if even if you have a really big lead. So just be careful about that. Um, but yeah, I think the matchup is okay. Um, Urgot. So Urgot was super bad for a long, long time. I think it's gotten a lot better. Um, if you use the edging technology that I listed in my previous video... Um, well, in my guide video for Gwen, you can actually dodge Urgot E pretty easily. Um, so just EQW, and if he E's you, you actually dodge his E, which is like the majority of his damage. It procs his passive. Um, and, you know, I'll say that you have to play super safe early game. He completely destroys you. If he tries to zone you from XP, you can do a trick where you stand in the uh, cove, the little... Uh, thing above your lane to uh, gain XP. If uh, if you want to, you could also start E and just like give him the do -si do like just walk around your wave. Um, just make sure not to get zoned from the XP. That's super important. Um, but yeah, do not fight him level one. That's the worst idea in the world. Um, but yeah, I don't think this matchup is that hard anymore. Um, use your W properly. Late game, be careful of bushes, because if he if he E's you first, you just die. So the matchup is dependent on whoever um, gets the first hit late game. But yeah, this matchup is fine. I hate Teemo. <laughs> you know, I'm like everybody else. I'm not a fan of Teemo. Um, the matchup is whatever. I think if you play safe early game and wait for level 6, you actually have decent kill pressure on your Ignite timer. Um you know, it's just, it's annoying to face. That's the reason I put it so high. It's just, I don't like facing Teemo. I would rather face Trindamir every day of the week, you know? Um, <clears throat> Trundle used to be one of the hardest matchups in the game for Gwen, but it's gotten a lot better ever since the champ is just, you know, complete trash. <laughs> um, I would say it's like up here. Um, I mean... Yeah, it, it can be really difficult, I'm going to be honest. Especially in low elo, if you don't know how to play around your Q and your R. Honestly, it could be up here, now that I think about it. Because um, he can kind of just beat your ass with lethal tempo. Um, and he, like, it's one of the only champs that actually outscales you. Like, I think about it now, and it's getting harder and harder in my mind. <laughs> yeah, Trundle is actually really frustrating to face. Because um, if he R's your W, he just steals all your resists, and you just get one shot. Um if you ever fall behind Trundle, it's just miserable because you can side lane way better than you, basically. Um, Varus. Varus was, at one point, like, super disgusting um, with that AP build. He just one-shot you inside your W. Um, if you built tank, he could out-DPS you and not die. Um, but I don't think it's that difficult anymore. You know, just use your W. It's kind of similar to Vayne. Vayne is, like, not very good anymore. Varus not very good top anymore. Um so I think it's it's whatever in my opinion. 
Um, Vlad is a really kind of a hard matchup in my opinion. Um, you can't ever dodge anything with his um, with your W because his Q is instant. So like a lot of the times I'll try to like dodge his powered Q and <laughs> it just goes through my W. Um, so it can be pretty frustrating. Um, trading with him is basically worthless because he just heals up on the wave. Um, but you do have very, very good kill pressure at level six. So if you can get one trade off where you EQ into him and chunk him to like 78% HP at level six, you can uh, initiate a trade with your R, um, you know, Q, 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 try not to, you know, let him dodge your Q with your W or your R with your W. Um, and then ignite him when he's low HP and you can actually get a pretty good, pretty good kill. Just make sure to fight him when you're near your tower so you can actually run him down. But I'd say it's like down here, um, an enemy favored. Uh, Vola Bear is, it can be really difficult. I'm going to say skill matchup just because if Vola Bear uses the wave properly, it is quite difficult to kill him. Um, so he's one of the champs that, you know, he has prio against, play safe early game. There's no way to really contest his prio when he has E. So, you know, watch out. Um, and then just try not to get like, you know, auto Q E and then he like throws his like shield thing on you. <laughs> you just get one shot, especially if it, if he has ignite. Um, but you know, once you have level six, you can actually look to trade him. I would say uh, save your ignite for his, I think it's his W, his uh, his little paw thing that heals him. If you save your ignite for a second one, you massively reduce his healing. Um, but yeah, it can it, it, this match can honestly be pretty difficult. I'm gonna put it like down here. Warwick is pretty miserable. Um, I would say one of the harder matchups in the game for for the Gwynster. Um, you have to play super. Uh, I mean. Yeah, you kind of have to just play safe early game. You want to try to burn his barrier because uh, his barrier is like the biggest counter to you. So try to use your ignite or just like if you can trade into him, which is honestly going to be impossible to pop his barrier. But yeah, try to use your ignite to trade for barrier. And then you can back by an oblivion orb. This is like one of the only matchups. I'd say Fiora as well, where you actually back and buy oblivion orb. Um, you can kind of do it against Vlad, but not very good. Um, but yeah, get a early oblivion orb and then when he has no bear you can actually kill him um especially when you have ulti and and then you kind of just rinse and repeat when uh when you have ignite trying to pop his bear that kind of thing uh warwick not warwick sorry <laughs> wukong is pretty easy um there's one really good player on a in a called air flash and he goes like full lethality wukong top and that is just with ignite and if he goes Ignite Flash, it's a super, super difficult matchup. Um, most go TP. I would say this matchup is going to be pretty good for you. Um, try not to stay inside his W. So if he Ws and then Rs you, it amplifies the damage. So try not to do that. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty simple stuff, I'd say. Um, you can kill him with your Ignite. So like, there's a trick that you can do. When he E's in, if you know, you think you can have a kill opportunity, um, you can ignite right when he E's in to guarantee you hit the correct person. Um, so even if he W's away, you have vision. Um, and, you know, kill is very easy. And then Yorick is super easy. I would, I mean, the thing is, Yorick can be frustrating just because he kind of stones, stonewalls you. Um, it's like pretty hard to kill. But I'd say it's probably Gwen favored. Um, Champ's pretty terrible, if I'm going to be honest. Um, and then, uh, yeah, you, you outscale him. Try not to E directly into him because he can cage you. Um, keep your W for his, 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 like, I don't even know what they are. The ghoul throw thingy. <laughs> I don't know his abilities. I think it's E, maybe. Um, yeah, just W his E. And then uh, you can trade onto him. Okay, so lastly, we have Yon and Yasuo. Um, so I think Yasuo is really difficult. Um, most of the agency is on Yasuo. Uh, he can kind of perma fight into you. 
especially with lethal tempo, it can be difficult. And it's just frustrating because late game, he kind of just W's your R. And there's not much you can do about it. You have to kind of play away from Yasuo. Um, so it kind of negates a lot of your power. Uh, you do you do have kill pressure at points. It's just it's difficult if you don't play properly. Plus, you can just dash around. So definitely enemy favored if, if they're a good player. And then Yone is about as skill matchup as you can get, I would say. Um, you can get level one prio if you're a better player. Um, but you know, it's very reliant on your skill level as a Gwyn player. Um, you can dodge his R with your W. Um, so that's massive. If he R's outside of it, just W. Um, but yeah, make sure you, you don't dodge your Q4 to his E. You can buffer your Q into his Q2, Q3, whatever it's called. Um, yeah, there's a lot you can do. Um, so yeah, that is all guys. Thank you so much for watching. I, uh, stream every day on Twitch and yeah, see ya.